the innovators where we look at some of the groundbreaking innovations transforming the world. Now, what if all your food could be grown in a city skyscraper? A vertical urban farm, really? Well, that idea is coming closer to reality. Bloomberg contributor Tabitha Soren is here with that story. Tabitha, really? Really? Check out Will Allen. He's an urban farming pioneer who's building the country's first vertical farm. Up close, it could be any farm in the rural heartland. But take a step back and you'll see we're not in Kansas anymore. This is the middle of Milwaukee, and this is the new frontier in American agriculture. I come from a, a history of farming on both sides of my family. But Alan is an unlikely farmer. He's a former pro basketball player and corporate consultant who is now leading an urban farms movement. Fifteen urban farms have sprouted up across the Midwest. In 2008, he won the MacArthur Genius Grant for the idea, which came to him when he saw an empty city lot and made a bid. It was between me and a church, but the older person at that time said what I was going to do was religion in itself. We do a lot of stuff. We plant, feed the animals, chickens. Alan enlisted local kids to help him harvest the crops, and he realized a lot of them had never eaten a truly fresh vegetable, mostly because their parents couldn't afford it. It's really about social justice to make sure that everybody has access to the same high quality, fresh, good food. At this farm stand, Alan now sells a bag for $16 that he says will feed a family of four for a week. Though the food he sells makes money, Alan's organization is a nonprofit with the goal of training an army of urban farmers. Here, crops are grown in densely packed layers. Uh, what we're doing here has never been done before. You'll find vegetable bin staples, but one level down, something unexpected. This is a lake perch. These fish will grow a lot faster than they would in Lake Michigan. And plus, they won't be mercury contaminated. Turns out, the plants filter nitrogen out of the water, keeping the fish healthy. So that's what a tilapia looks like. Smart farming systems are key to Alan's success. Have a look inside the steaming heap. Lots of worm. Got a nice smell, too. <laughs> The worms transform toxic city earth into healthy, fertilized soil. And it's not just a feel-good experiment, it's a moneymaker. We're grossing $200,000 an acre. Compare that with $500 an acre for industrial soybeans and corn. Urban farming is so profitable that Allen believes it could compete with industrial agriculture if it gains a foothold in the marketplace. We have to scale it up. We're at a time now where the talk is over with. I'm not sure that Will's model is scalable in the sense of becoming larger, but I certainly think that it's replicable. Well, I mean, this isn't the model that be in the Fortune 500, but uh, we've proven that uh, you can make a very nice living. And he's about to get a radically improved yield on his acreage by building his farm up. We're going to put up a five-story building here, so it'll be the first of its kind anywhere in the world. He can already see the day when vertical farms feed every American city. In the meantime, he's focused on getting more kids excited about fresh food. He remembers one little girl who gave him a gift. I interpret it as thank you for teaching us this stuff there, but it, it was just the, the gesture and, the, and what she did, and I said, wow, now I know why I'm doing this work. All right, I looked it up. Will Allen played for the Floridians in the this ABA. Guy. I, the whole story is about vegetables, fish, and I'm all about basketball. innovation, and you just got stuck on the basketball. I was thinking about the stinky worms, too. It's the, it's the stuff around the worms that stink, not the worms. Okay, so where else do they do this? Well, there's a company called Balsant, and they're growing vertical crops in Devon, England, actually at a zoo. But other than that, no one else, nowhere else. I, I, usually urban farming is inside of buildings is where they're growing pot. Well, I think New York City would probably be the next place, most likely place for vertical farms to crop up. Uh, Columbia professor Dixon de Palmier believes that farm scrapers will soon be dotting the New York skyline. He envisions a 30-story farm, and that can feed 10,000 people and make New York that's City smell even more interesting in the summertime. <laughs> uh, that's great stuff. Tabitha Soren, thanks for bringing that story to us. You're welcome.